Hello, e-bike community. Dr. Chopper here. Today, we're going to talk about programming your Vatel EM150 2SP. It also is the same way to do the EM200 2SP. And the reason why I'm stressing that is because I accidentally ordered the EM200 SP. It wasn't the two. So it's very confusing for me. I have the specs here I can show you. The EM152 SP, here's the specs here. You can find them on the website, okay? So let me read this here real quick. It's 72 volt. The battery is 84 volts, fully charged. The rated current is 120 amps. I set mine to 100 because I don't like to be maxed out. I will show you that in the program. The boost current is 200 amps. I set mine to 190. That would be for sport mode. I'm gonna to explain to you how I hook that up. I'm gonna to try to make it fast as possible and be as thorough as possible. Uh, riding the bike and building the frames is, is just awesome. But programming your controller is, I mean, that's, that's the most important part. If you want good throttle response, um, I used to be a street rider, but I, fell in love with riding in the woods recently. And now I have a bike that's a mid drive. It has a chain. Um, it's perfectly balanced. Um, the hub motors are great. I love my hub motor. I'll never knock a hub motor. But when they talk about unsprung weight, what they're talking about is having weight on the swing arm that doesn't have a spring to it. The, if it's sprung weight, that means the motor is in the middle. So there's less, less, um, weight on your suspension doesn't bang around too much and uh yeah come on down Heidi it's okay my beautiful wife is coming down to visit me <laughs> okay so um yeah you want to say hi <laughs> okay good hi everybody all right that's Heidi um okay so let's see what else all right so I showed you the controller right so when you want to download the program what you want to do is you want to go to siaecosys.com. That's S-I-A, eco, E-C-O, like ecosystem, S-Y-S.com. And what you want to do is you want to choose, you want to choose VATL at the bottom. Oh, you want to go to service, then go to instructions for use. And then you want to click the VATL for the 2SP. There's one up here that says Vatol controller software for 2021. Yeah, that's not for the 2SP. So click the 2SP and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Anything else I got to show you here? Um, yeah, I got this variety video, it's just amazing, I think so. I mean, look at this thing move. It's so quiet in the video. You can hear me breathing over the engine. All right. So what we're gonna do is on the TOB bike, you simply remove the seat. So you just pops right off. It's stock fit, right? That's the beautiful thing about this bike. It has fenders. It has fenders and I ride through mud. I ride full speed through mud. You can see, you know, it just gets here a little bit. It doesn't bother me. It throws it right off. Um, got splash guards. The shock is okay. That can get dirty. It's not terrible. Um, yeah. So we'll put this seat. Actually, you know what? Pop this seat right here on the new frame here. It's getting shipped out ASAP. Have to finish jack shaft. I gotta push it on there. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, so here we go. Go to the computer. So what you want to do on the software is you want to plug in your your program wire, right? Um, after you set up your prolific driver for the USB and all that, right? So I have an old Windows 7 computer dedicated just to programming. So I'm gonna plug. I'm gonna sneak this in back here. This computer's tricky sometimes it shuts off. It's got a wonky battery on it, right? Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, so it's beeped. So that, that part's engaged, right? Um uh, we'll turn the bike on. I'll give you a quick rundown here of the wires here. Okay, so on my wires, 
I'm going to put these wires out here, right? I have, um, okay. So this is sport mode. It's a momentum button. See, um, it's not an actual switch. Okay, this is a three speed switch. It, okay, it, it has first, second, third. So it has three gears, okay? You can program it, you can set that in your controller, all right? And then sport mode is like number four. This is what gives you max boost. This is what I was explaining to you. What I was explaining was, let me show you real quick. Um, okay, this part right here, okay? So, 120 amps is your rated current. I have mine set for 100. That's in your bus bar and your program. That would be one, two, and three on your three-speed switch. Now, that momentum switch that I showed you is called sport mode. That's 200 amps. So, this is um, your max power. It says, it says 14,400 watts, but mine's uh, 17,000 watts. So, we can go over those numbers later if you want. Um, 380 amps on your that would be your phase current okay so um all right so that's that's that um on your wires you go to your di wire diagrams include it with i have my um this is my sport mode i want uh the brown wire to the black one this has a, a black with a small brown one you can check how the switches work in your display. I'll show you that. That, that. That's my sport mode, on, off. I don't run a display. I can tell the difference when it's in sport mode or when it isn't. If you want to run your display, that's fine. So, um, okay, this is my key switch, right? My key switch. Uh, I, it runs my throttle for now. It's easy for me, right? I'll probably put a voltmeter down here and a key down here, right? So, um, that's my key switch. This is your, uh, obviously... This is your hauls from the motor. Um, I put some black tape on there, so I'm done with it. To make sure it doesn't touch nothing. Um, this is my throttle. Throttle, my wire diagram is, um, you see how that works there? Pink to red, green to green, black to black on the throttle, right? And then your three speed, on well, mine anyway. Oh, that's hidden down there, yeah. That would be the, uh, just look at your wire diagram for that one. Yeah, okay. So what I need to do is is pull off the, uh, this is your program wire. Okay, it looks funny. It's the only connector that's like it, right? Um, so it's the, uh, what is it? Um, it's like blue, orange, and brown, brown, black, or something. So I'm gonna plug that into my wire that I did for my computer. All right, now the bike is on, okay, the bike is on. All right, so let's go to this computer now. I hope I'm not too boring. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link on how you can just fast forward through all the chit chat, right? So now it's hooked up, right? So I'm gonna go to this one that for the, the the 2SP program. Open that up, right? I hit run. My bike is on, the prolific port, everything's there. This says COM6. If, if this doesn't come up, if there's nothing on here, you have to go through your prolific computer and your settings. My baud rate is 115200. I also matched it in the USB settings. Open, connect. Okay, so now we're in. We're in on the programs. So this is gonna get shaky. I'll take this camera off here. We're gonna discuss what I did here. I suggest that you set yours up like mine so you don't have any issues, okay? So, um, let's get out of here. This wonky computer. Yeah, so it says EM100, but that doesn't make a difference because it's an EM152 SP. To disregard that, I did my over voltage, my under voltage, my bus bar current. See, this is what you're concerned about. Bus bar current, okay? This is important. I did 100. 120 is max. Honestly, I'll probably go back down to 80 after I'm done having some fun with it because that'll save my battery more, right? And uh, all these settings are fine. Oh, okay. 
This setting right here, the 250, 200, that's for instant throttle response. I mean, when you hit the throttle, it goes. When you let off, it lets off. It, it's beautiful. I love it. If somebody else recommends all the settings, you know, that's, that's on you. That's fine. Um, it's great. Yeah, everything, everything else stays the same. All right, so let's go to page two. Okay, so page two, I'm going to hire my flux weakening back up to 105 because I put it on 85 and I really don't know what it did. So let's keep that normal, okay? You just always hit like the parameter, okay? So that's good. All right, so here's all my settings up here, okay? Now, look at all my settings. If you have the same bike as me, your settings should be the same, okay? Now, the, the current limiting 180, 200 is max on this controller. That is sport mode. Sport mode is that little push button that I told you about, okay? And, uh, and you'll, you'll know when it's in sport mode, what a big difference, man. It's just un, unreal. It's so much power. I took my soft start off because I don't like soft start. It's like traction control in the mud. Been riding the bike since November in the mud. I'm used to it. At first, I had to use soft start because the bike was just getting away from me. But now I'm so used to the bike balance and I'm so used to the throttle response. Okay, page three. Page three just says five pole pair. Uh, V-type, hall shift angle. Okay, these numbers are important. Speed ratio, 10, 1,000, right? I don't use regen. I don't need regen. <laughs> Brakes are huge. Three months, heavy riding, pads still look new. Okay, all right, now, oh, there's a little, okay, so then you can all, so leave all that the same. Unless you want to set up regen, that's another subject, another day, it's fine. That's, that's what you're interested in. Um, okay, here's the display, right, now, the display on my bike, the volt on my bike is the same. I don't, I'm not running a display, but that's my volts, okay? Um, it says controller failure because I didn't move the wheel, but see that, that went away. So, okay, so now there's no faults at all, okay? Now you see that the gears here, it says medium, high. It says, it goes in a low, maybe my switch is messed up, I'll have to fix it, right? Now, see right here, okay? Now when I click the button, so it goes into sport mode. It goes back to medium. Medium, um, high, medium, low. All right, it's not going to low right now. I'll, I'll check the wire, no big deal. I've been doing a lot of work on these bikes, I'm tired. Um, but anyway, we'll leave it at that. And then if you want, you can also pull out the side menu. And this has other settings here. Uh, I'm honestly not concerned with that today, right? And then you have your, your port settings. That's in your manual, okay? So these are my port settings. If you have the same bike as me with the same switches, yours should be the same. I hope you heard me there. Yeah, yours should be the same, right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, um, we're gonna, you know, you, you write your parameter, which I did. Um, you just hit um, close, right? And then you can simply get back to your bike and let me put this on here, right? Hope it's not too long and too boring. Let's see what we're going to do here now. All right, I'm going to disconnect this wire here. Nice. Huh. Falling for this. <laughs> there we go. I'm not doing a whole 13 minute video over because the camera fell. All right, so I don't need this anymore. You put this wire in a safe place. I've been losing it. It's been driving me absolutely crazy. I'm just going to hang it up here from the ceiling. I put it in a pile. Tools get lost, right? So, all right. So I really don't mind um, my wires. Um, I just put a little piece of tape over that. I'm weird if it hits something. It's, it's good enough for me, right? And then shove my wires in here like this. I got a little piece of black foam. It works. It's nice, right? We'll shove that in there. I got the little 12 volt power supply in there too for my see There's blue lights in there okay that's all volts source i really don't know what else i can tell you about it um enjoy your ride just be safe be very safe the first time you uh ride your bike you just have to be really careful because uh you know tires are a little slippery it can get away from you um yeah it's not a good thing when it happens and there you go there's my bike my brakes we got the frame here, got more frames being made. 
and uh some of them chipped already but there you go guys enjoy <laughs>